in the flickering glow of a bygone era's television sets, a portal to the extraordinary swung open. Picture yourself, if you will, back in that mysterious year of 1959. The world was a different place, and so was the world of television. Among the static and crackles, a series emerged, The Twilight Zone. Its mere name was enough to send a shiver down the spine, a thrilling promise of uncharted dimensions where the ordinary collided headlong with the bizarre. Do you remember that very first encounter? The room dimly lit, you sat on the edge of your seat, perhaps holding your breath in anticipation. Rod Serling's hypnotic narration drew you in, as if guiding you through a labyrinth of imagination. The eerie tales that unfolded, each episode a key to unlock the door to the unknown and those twist endings that left you stunned, pondering the boundaries of reality, and the fantastic. Maybe it was the chilling eye of the beholder, where beauty and monstrosity danced a haunting waltz. Or perhaps time enough at last, which left you questioning the fragility of time and destiny. These stories were no ordinary tales, they were like whispers from an alternate universe, inviting you to ponder the edges of your own reality. As the screen played host to characters navigating inexplicable realms, you couldn't help but reflect on your own life's enigmas. What hidden dimensions might exist within your own existence? What if the lines between what you know and what you don't were to blur and blend, just like they did in those gripping episodes? And now, as the spotlight shifts to a collection of enigmatic facts about this iconic series, let's journey back once more. Did you know that The Twilight Zone wasn't just a show but a mirror reflecting societal fears and dreams? The stories mirrored the times, both as a reflection and a critique. Each episode, a tapestry woven with allegory and symbolism, continues to beckon us to question our perceptions. So, dear traveler through dimensions, hold on to your curiosity. Let's venture together into the realm of the Twilight Zone, where reality and imagination intertwine in ways that are as timeless as innovative they are experiment in budgetary boundaries. The Twilight Zone's videotape venture and a bold cost-cutting move during its second season. The iconic 1959 TV series The Twilight Zone embarked on an ambitious experiment. Faced with budgetary constraints, the network opted to shoot select episodes on videotape rather than the conventional film medium. This decision, while economically motivated, sparked a unique creative approach that left an indelible mark on the show's legacy. Videotape, a nascent technology during the early 1960s, posed both advantages and challenges. While it offered a more affordable production route, its limitations soon came to the fore. Editing videotape was an arduous task, nearly impossible given the technology's primitive state. To overcome this hurdle, the production team turned to a method akin to live television broadcasts. Each of the six chosen episodes, The Lateness of the Hour, Static, The Whole Truth, The Night of the Meek, 22, and Long Distance Call, was meticulously camera cut in real time on a studio soundstage, utilizing a quartet of cameras. However, the experiment's success came at a price. The use of videotape necessitated a multi-camera setup that largely confined filming to the studio setting, curtailing the expansive possibilities of external locations. This limitation inherently narrowed the potential scope of intricate storylines that The Twilight Zone was renowned for. As such, this innovative endeavor was reluctantly abandoned after just the six episodes. Ultimately, the practicalities of videotape pushed the network to revert to the more expensive film format for the series' remaining episodes. The transition, while financially burdensome, allowed for greater creative freedom and cinematic storytelling. The six videotaped episodes were subsequently transferred to film for broadcast, albeit at a substantial cost savings of approximately $5,000 per episode. The Twilight Zone's foray into the uncharted realm of videotape remains a testament to the show's commitment to pushing artistic boundaries within the constraints of budgetary realities. The experiment may have been fleeting, but its impact on television history endures as a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of storytelling technology. Twilight Zone's enigmatic origins unveiled in the realm of the uncanny that is the Twilight Zone. Rod Serling's vision transcended both screen and reality. As the enigmatic host of the timeless television series, Serling's distinctive presence often featured him clutching a cigarette, a hallmark of the show's early era. Amid its sponsors, Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company, Serling emerged as an unexpected on-screen advocate, endorsing Chesterfield cigarettes in his iconic tune in next week's soliloquies. 
However, the American Tobacco Company's entrance into the sponsorship fray required a nicotine-laden caveat. Serling's Perpetual Cigarette Companion, a proposition spurned by Serling, who staunchly declined to tout their brand. Yet, the origins of the series' very title, The Twilight Zone, harbor a parallel intrigue. Serling believed he had conjured the term from his own creative depths. However, the unveiling of the show propelled him into a world where reality's boundaries blurred, discovering that the Twilight Zone was a lexicon shared by U.S. Air Force pilots. The phrase encapsulated the surreal threshold experienced upon crossing the juncture between day and night, a paradoxical twist worthy of one of Serling's narratives. Eponymous with the eerie and the enigmatic, the inaugural season of The Twilight Zone bore a curious trait. A near-constant refrain echoed as Serling introduced his male protagonists, a recurring motif. These figures, emblematic of various tales' tapestries, were consistently bestowed with an age, 36 years, a numerical quirk that remains embedded within the show's annals. The show's legacy remains interwoven with these curious threads, its narrative fabric punctuated by Serling's sardonic wit and unwavering vision. As we journey through the dimensions of imagination, we are reminded that even in the seamless fluidity of the 1960s television, the truth is often stranger than fiction. A comic journey beyond the Twilight Zone's artistic afterlife in the realm of television's enigmatic tales, none have left an indelible mark quite like the Twilight Zone. Premiering in 1959, this anthology series, conceived by the masterful Rod Serling, delved into the depths of human psyche, where reality and imagination danced a beguiling tango. Yet, even in the realm of the uncanny, certain revelations surface, shedding light on the show's enduring legacy. One revelation peeks through the shroud of Rod Serling's own candor. In an unguarded moment, Serling confessed to the varied quality of his creation. I guess a third of the shows are pretty damned good. Another third are passable. Another third are dogs, he mused. Even the creative genius behind the curtain conceded that not every tale spun in the zone achieved equal brilliance. This glimpse into Serling's candid self-appraisal humanizes the architect of this otherworldly journey, reminding us that even in the dimensions of the extraordinary, imperfections can be unearthed. A lesser-known twist in the tale lies in the artistic extension of the Twilight Zone. Long after the final credits rolled, a comic book adaptation took readers on a visual odyssey. Illustrated with the iconic visage of Rod Serling himself, the comic series carried forward the spirit of the show until 1982, seven years after the real Serling had departed this plane. In this vivid realm of ink and paper, the Zone's mysteries continued to unfold, offering a timeless testament to its enduring allure. And in a more contemporary echo of the eerie, in 2018, CBS, not long after resurrecting the Twilight Zone for its streaming platform, CBS All Access, curated a list of the 10 most spine-tingling episodes from the original series. These chilling tales captivated audiences anew, nightmare at 20,000 feet, time enough at last, living doll, eye of the beholder, it's a good life, the monsters are due on Maple Street, 22, five characters in search of an exit, the masks, and the hitchhiker. These are the episodes that etched their phantasmal mark on viewers' minds, proving that even decades later, the Zone's grasp remains unwavering. In the realm of the unexplained, where reality bends and the surreal takes root, the Twilight Zone continues to cast its spell. Through candid revelations, artistic afterlives, and curated terrors, Serling's creation endures, a timeless testament to the human fascination with the unknown. Step into the shadows, dear reader, and let the journey begin anew. Michael Jackson's musical homage to the Twilight Zone's eerie narrations in the realm were music. And the uncanny meet, Michael Jackson's 2001 track Threatened emerges as a sonic testament to the enduring allure of the Twilight Zone. The king of pop ingeniously sampled the distinctive narrations of the series creator, Rod Serling, seamlessly interweaving them into his haunting composition. Drawing from the eerie atmosphere of the Twilight Zone, Jackson expertly wove together snippets from two pivotal episodes, It's a Good Life and In His Image. These select narrations, artfully threaded through the fabric of Threatened, serve as an eerie homage to the show's eerie themes. The lines resonate with the spectral essence of Serling's voice, capturing the show's essence, a portal to the surreal, the enigmatic, and the uncharted corners of the human psyche. 
The Twilight Zone gained immortality through its compelling storytelling and unparalleled sense of the unknown. Jackson's fusion of these narrations with his music breathes new life into Serling's masterful tales, reinforcing the show's enduring impact on popular culture. A match made in the ethereal, where the eerie whispers of the past converge with the mesmerizing beats of the present. As musical innovation converged with Serling's storytelling mastery, Fretton stands as an emblem of cross-generational inspiration, where the echoes of the Twilight Zone continue to transcend temporal boundaries. A reminder that even in the realms of the mysterious and the macabre, creativity knows no bounds. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic realms of the Twilight Zone, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of reality and imagination, where the ordinary and the extraordinary intertwine. This timeless series has whispered its eerie secrets into our consciousness, unraveling the threads of the familiar and weaving them into intricate tapestries of the unknown. As the final curtain falls on our journey through dimensions and paradoxes, I invite you to close your eyes and let the echoes of its iconic theme music linger in the air. Can you feel it? The subtle shiver down your spine, the curiosity that tugs at your thoughts, a doorway to contemplation swinging open wide. The beauty of the Twilight Zone is that it's not just a show, it's a mirror that reflects the corners of our minds we rarely explore. It beckons us to peer through its window, daring us to confront our fears, prejudices, and hopes. It reminds us that reality is but a matter of perception, and the extraordinary often lies in the ordinary. Whether it's the eerie twists, the thought-provoking dilemmas, or the unforgettable characters, there's a piece of this enigmatic series that resides within each of us. So, dear traveler of dimensions, I encourage you to take a moment. Reflect on your personal odyssey with the Twilight Zone. Let your thoughts wander into its mysteries, its messages, its moments that left an indelible mark on your soul. Was it the haunting narratives that stayed with you, the moral conundrums that made you ponder, or the masterful storytelling that ignited your imagination? As we close this chapter, I extend my gratitude to you for embarking on this journey through time and space with me. Your curiosity, your engagement, and your connection to the Twilight Zone make this experience all the more extraordinary. In sharing your favorite memories or musings about the series, you breathe life into its legacy, ensuring that its echoes will continue to resonate through the corridors of the mind. Thank you for indulging in the wondrous world of the Twilight Zone. Until we meet again in the interplay of light and shadow, keep exploring the boundaries of your imagination, for just beyond lies another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. And that's where you might find yourself, in the Twilight Zone.